So, kind of following on from my last video, and I know this isn't strictly photography related, but it kind of is because it's related to creativity and I've been suffering with uh, foggy headedness and a lack of I guess vision or um, I don't know because I've had this kind of fog in my head I can't really concentrate um, yeah so that's kind of hampered me um, so I've been looking online um, and I've adopted a few principles um, so this is going to be the start of this thing I'm going to either do it for two weeks or a month depending on how it goes um, so definitely for two weeks I'm going to vlog it and put a video together and see how it goes so this is like the first kind of intro and tomorrow is going to be day one <laughs> So yeah, with the foggy headedness, I've been looking on YouTube um, at a few things to do and I'm going to be following a principle um, by a guy called Wim Hof, which is um, deep breathing, meditation and cold immersion. So I'm going to be starting cold showers. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, the other thing that I wanted to uh, do is show some of the things that I'm going to be doing, taking and uh, again looking on YouTube, looking at things to detox and actually things to get rid of the fogginess and also things that are good for your body. Um, I've been recently ill for the last three months and so this is going to be me kickstarting myself back to the gym and uh, yeah getting healthy and whatever so yeah so I've been looking at things online. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to be taking is this, which is uh, turmeric. Um, this is a guy uh, by New New You Nutrition, um, and it's a year supply, 365 tablets, uh, one a day, obviously. <laughs> um, and this is with black pepper. So apparently, according to online, black pepper helps your body. Um, use turmeric or uh, curcumin which is the main ingredient the next major thing is um, coconut oil and this is uh, so it's 100% um, raw extra virgin coconut oil apparently this is great for lots of different things so again I'll go into all of this in more depth this is just a walkthrough of what I'm going to be doing. Um, we then have ground cinnamon, and this is just um, cinnamon powder. Apparently, another great ingredient for health and natural well being, but it's also um, a good form of sugars, is honey. So, again, we have organic natural honey. And then we have things like uh, Omega 3s, which is the fish oils. And some of the online um, has led me to believe that I have a deficiency in magnesium. So I'm going to be taking magnesium tablets. That's again trying to help with the head fog and also get myself back into shape ready for attacking the gym. Um, I'm going to be using some uh, natural um, licorice and then with the coconut oil I'm going to be making some um, healthy smoothies so we've got blueberries which again high in antioxidants and something that they recommend and I've never tried before so this should be interesting is um, avocado so again, this isn't really uh, anything photography related, but it is kind of creativity related and to help me get rid of the brain fog. So tomorrow I'm going to start day one on this new regime. I'm going to vlog it and uh, let you know how I get on with the cold therapy, which is the cold showers. And uh, I'll probably show the um, Wim Hof uh, breathing method. So looking forward to it. Um, next say get rid of these headaches and this fog and hopefully yeah get back on it and uh, start doing some photography and uh, getting my shit together basically <laughs> uh. 
Right, so uh, this is day one on the new regime, and it's uh, uh, what are we? Sunday the 24th of February 2019. So I'm going to get up in a minute, make myself this uh, uh, smoothie, but first I'm going to do the breathing techniques and then go for a cold shower. So, <coughs> I'll probably put a link to um, the Wim Hof breathing method because he can explain it a lot better than I can or, or someone who's actually done it for longer. So this is going to be um, my first real go at it. I've had a bit of an experiment but uh, this is going to be doing it for two weeks minimum or a month depending on how it goes. But uh, I'm going to be carrying on with the Wim Hof method. But I just want to um, track how this goes for a few weeks. So yeah, let's get on with the breathing. Okay, so that's pretty uh, strange. I feel a bit lightheaded, a bit dizzy, but a bit awake. Um, in Wim's video, he mentions that you should be able to hold your breath from anywhere from um, a minute to three minutes. Um, the first round, I got about 45 seconds. Um, second round, again, 45 seconds. Uh, and then the third round I got a minute so um, that extra 15 seconds was great or felt you know felt great for me but yeah it's nowhere near three minutes or two minutes like he said so uh, yeah I don't know um, I'm, like I say I've, I've done this um, a couple of times before but I'm going to count this as the first day because um, I'm doing it properly and I'm going to do it consistently for the week um, it doesn't mention anywhere whether you do it more than once a day um, so I don't know I, I might do it twice a day but for now you know obviously just waking up and this is when I first doing it um, so now we're gonna go for a cold shower do the cold immersion therapy and then go and make the smoothie <coughs> Alright, got my uh, glass of Barocca. I'm about to take it to the freezing cold shower. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 
Why is it all the healthy stuff tastes crap? <laughs> oh shit! <sighs> Definitely feeling alive now. That was mental. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, definitely invigorating. <sighs> Cold shower, but yeah, um, I don't know what it'd be like to uh, have an ice bath, but yeah, freezing cold shower, man, that was definitely invigorating. <sighs> right, <sighs> dressed in a smoothie. So first time making a smoothie, that didn't really go as planned. Um, it's more of a a dessert than a smoothie, but uh, let's see how it tastes. Not bad. Very coconutty. So I haven't made a smoothie. I've made a yogurt. We'll have some of this, put some in the fridge, and then we'll head to the gym. First of all, forgive the beard, I'm uh, in the middle of deciding whether to keep it or shave it or whatever. <laughs> so this is a two week update on the Wim Hof method. I've kind of enjoyed it and not enjoyed it, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, I'm still also enjoying the fruit smoothies, something I never thought I would do, it's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah quite enjoy this and especially with the coconut oil and actually I've found since I put raspberries in it it's really tasty now but yeah so two weeks on the Wim Hof method I I'm gonna be carrying on because I've got some great feelings and great experiences from it but I don't know if I've done it justice in these two weeks so this is why I'm going to carry on for another two weeks and the reasons why is I'm a freelance photographer and graphic designer and just recently I've got some new clients and yeah it's been really busy so what I originally intended to do was do the breathing exercises first thing in the morning when I wake up and then go for a cold shower um, my routines changed a little bit where I've been having some really late nights doing some design work um, and again getting up at stupid o'clock in the morning to kind of finish it off and do some more work so I've been doing the um, breathing exercises and the cold showers um, at different times of the day and yeah um, I, I think if you do it first thing in the morning, fantastic. It invigorates you, it wakes you up and sets you up for the day. If you do it like I've done a couple of days where it's been nine, ten o'clock at night, when you really want to wind down and de-stress from the day, you find that it kind of wakes you up and so you find it harder to sleep, which is a pain, I guess. Um, I don't really have that much of an issue sleeping and when I did it actually, 
it was when I was doing um, design work so actually it kind of helped because I put myself in a different mental state by doing the breathing, having a cold shower and then sitting down in front of the computer working so I guess in those circumstances it was beneficial but normally if you're coming home from work um, doing the Wim Hof breathing method at that time of night just kind of yeah elevates you so it's probably harder to sleep. So the breathing exercise itself, um, I don't know if I'm doing really well on it. Uh, Wim Hof men mentions that you should be able to hold your breath after the 30th breath for between 45 seconds and 3-4 minutes. Um, I'm getting some really mixed results and to be honest, I've not really used the stopwatch, I've just been counting the seconds in my head. So whether I'm actually counting faster or slower, um, but I'm getting anywhere anywhere from 45 seconds to just over a minute, 10 seconds. Um, which, for two weeks, I don't think is brilliant. Um, but what I did do this morning is, there is actually a video on YouTube where it does guide you to breathe. Um, and it, in when it says to hold your breath there is actually a, a countdown clock and I didn't actually notice that and so today I was just about to breathe out and I looked over at the uh, the iPad and the counter said 147 so in my head I counted just over a minute um, and that counter counted 147 so I don't know whether that is truthful or whether my counting is right but anyway we'll see I'm probably gonna count it on the iPhone and just really hold my breath and see uh, what I what I can achieve but um, loving the cold showers though <laughs> first thing when you get in you don't really appreciate it but it does really wake you up and invigorate you um, and since doing the breathing method actually I've I can't really say I've had a better sense of well-being but um, I don't know it, it kind of like it's made me have a different outlook on life I guess I'm a bit more positive um, and I think that's actually a really good thing so I'm gonna carry on with it for another two weeks and uh, we'll do another update but so far I really recommend people to try the Wim Hof method even if it's just the breathing the strange kind of euphoria you get after breathing for the three sets is crazy I, I I don't do drugs so I can only assume it's like being on a on a drug on a high um, you get a real light-headed spaced out um, euphoria I guess which is really strange and really cool but yeah so really enjoying it gonna stick with it I'm gonna try it again for the next two weeks and uh, again with the smoothies even though these bloody things are expensive because I'm putting quite a lot of fruit in it and uh, an avocado a day um, so yeah but um, yeah I'm enjoying it I'm gonna stick with it again I'm gonna record it well I'm gonna track my progress for another two weeks but I'm definitely gonna keep up with it because I'm feeling better in myself whether it's um, psychological like a placebo effect but I think there's something there um, I've told quite a few people about it in the gym and they've actually gone and investigated it and one of my friends Richard he's actually tried it and uh, he says he gets positive benefits from it so if you know other people are getting that then it's all good <laughs> but yeah again thanks for watching we'll keep you updated and uh, Hopefully the next video should be some more photography related stuff. I'm actually in the process of doing a video on the newer slider. So if that's interesting for anyone. And I also need to get my lazy arse into gear and start shooting, which is my uh, Chroma 4x5 camera. I've had this for quite a while now and I've never used it sorry Steve <laughs> so I need to get my lazy ass into gear and get this um, yeah at least a test so again look out for a video on this <coughs> excuse me I've also messaged the um, 
the wet plate supply company which they do training on wet plate photography and so far it's been a week and a half and I've had no reply so I think uh, I need to drop them another email because I really want to do that course um, and hopefully learn platinum palladium printing while I'm there as well so all good I'm back on the scene back on the case and trying to kickstart my ass into doing some more stuff excuse me other than digital and cars because I kind of like uh, I've had a model shoot for a client doing uh, bathrobes and actually enjoyed it so uh, I want to start shooting again which is great but anyway I've waffled on so long thank you for your attention thank you for all of your comments and feedback and we'll catch you again soon thank you